skip the countdown. I guess we'll just get right into this. These dudes are funny. When this parade, I didn't know. I didn't know um, you can feel empathy here is, for people. Here is. I wanted to say, like, how did he show up on all of these networks almost at the same time? But it, there's enough of Chris Christie to go around. Let's put it that way. Oh, well, sorry about now. that, folks. Um, here is um, Chris Christie on his. I, I don't even know what the f is going on with him on all these things. Um, the, you know, these networks, but whatever it is, maybe Capitalism? maybe some billionaire is just buying a lot of ad time. And but here he is with uh, Anderson Cooper as we discuss. Is oh, Chris Christie the biggest cuck to right. uh, Donald Trump? And I and I would argue he is because of him being the personal valet. But go ahead. Wow. It's Chris. Yeah. Not only a strong leader, but by a caring, genuine, and decent person. Do you believe that now? Well, look, I think what I said there, I absolutely believe that he was our strongest option that was left when I said those things. Um, and, and, and the fact is that, again, you're left with the choices you have. But now what I'm saying to folks... Do you believe is, that he was caring, genuine, and a decent person? Let me tell you something. At, when I said those things, he had always been that to me. Mm -hmm. He had always been that to me at that time. Do you believe that now? Well, he's been less of that to me um, over the course of time. But I still consider him a friend. We've been friends for right, 20 do years. Do you think he has been decent? Do you think he's been genuine and caring? I mean, I think it's when you were in the hospital... He right. called you up and he was saying something about like, you, you're you not going to say you got it from me. Or... Right. But in the beginning of that conversation, for the whole conversation, he did ask how I was doing. But the but but the, the fact is, are you going to die? Are you going to die? Don't, because if you're going to die, this is going to look really bad for me. Could you like go out and do a photo up and just walk around make sure you, people don't think you're too sick? Come on. I mean, I know I only got 11 minutes of this segment, but still. This sounds seems heartless and, 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 and unnecessary. If anybody else on the other side of the aisle would be doing this shit, these dudes would be giving them shit for it, yo. Know, for anything. Holy hell, bro. But I'll let y'all I'll let y'all keep rocking with uh, shit. Okay, listen, if you're gonna Talk die, to let's go over who you probably got this from <laughs> and who you didn't get it from. Say you got it from Hillary, right? Say you get <laughs> Should we lock her up? Sad. What about your wife? Does your wife have COVID? Can you say you got it from her? What about your kids? Okay. I just want to make sure that hey, that can embarrass me. <laughs> Don't, they be, you know, they still dying would be super died, weak. Bro. Just That's, want you to know that. Not a great if, time if, right if now, this, Chris. This um, died, died. Want to remind you, I came right through now. it, no problem. So you ask why you never got hired? This is why. Don't be so weak. Don't you dare blame me for your death. All right, go back. This is so, uh, this is just, Don't you what, oh, blame my me? God. How humiliating. Wow. Incidentally, for no who? one's going to buy your book. Who is it humiliating for? If he keeps saying it to the same people over and over, if he felt humiliated or felt some awkward way about it, I don't think he would keep doing it as you guys keep saying on every network, yo. He probably don't give two fucks. But whatever. I'll let you guys feel embarrassed for him. Empathy. To time. But, but to I still consider shit. him a friend. We've been friends for right, 20 but do years. Do you think he has been decent? Do you think he's been genuine, caring? I mean, I think when, it's when you were in the hospital, he right. called you up and he was saying something about, you like, you, you're you not going to say you got it from me. Or right. But in the beginning of that course. conversation, for the whole conversation, he did ask how I was doing. But the but but the, the fact is, or Anderson, that. Chris, I know you're in a lot of pain right now, but can you just sign this piece of paper saying you got COVID from the Democrats and definitely not me? So no, this is how it call goes. How you doing? Uh, I'm okay, okay, but okay. you're not going to die. Also, I just want to remind you, according to my lawyer, your NDA is still in effect. So uh, you did not get it from me, right? Otherwise, we sue you. How are you doing now? <laughs> it just keeps checking in during the course of the conversation. I'm great. I didn't get COVID from you. Oh, so it sounds like you're doing well. Okay, good. Well, yeah, because my COVID wasn't even that bad, so... Basically like a flu. I mean, I got over my COVID, so if you die, probably a different COVID. Definitely different COVID. Die from the flu. Couldn't be the same, because mine didn't kill me, and yours got killed you. 
It only kills you. The problem is you are not in the most now, amazing shape that I'm in. in. You should go and tell people you it? wish you got COVID from me, so you didn't get it from somebody who got the worst one. You would have gotten the better COVID, where you're actually feeling better than you did before. Where I fought it halfway for you before giving it to you. I felt, after my COVID, I felt better than I ever had. So if you're feeling worse, probably different COVID. You probably did not get the presidential COVID, Trump COVID. And if you did get my COVID, you're welcome. Okay. Ha, like anybody. My God. So he's running for president then, or he's trying to see if there's an appetite for it. Somebody wants him to. Or, or, here's my theory. He is about to promote a new crypto that actually is generated by humiliation. Oh yeah. So right. he's going out there and every time he goes on so to one of these shows and he humiliates himself, it's the, it's fueling the processing power to create value in his crypto. Yeah, that's a lot more environmentally sound than traditional crypto. So I appreciate Christy being, you know, sustainable there. But um, the thing about him running, I just want to point this out. Like, if there is a billionaire bankrolling it, which I think you're actually right about that. I mean, it's got to be. It's got to be. Um, they want Trump aesthetics without it being Trump. So it, Chris Christie can do Jersey tough talk uh, cosplay. The and, and so that's what they think the value is. And that, like it's without a doubt. the contempt for the people that are voting for him. <laughs> it it's just it seeps works. through yeah. all of these like financed efforts. Well, there's just a stupid, stupid, stupid theory that is not uh, Jersey, certainly not, you, you know, game. that is that is that is in no way this a Jersey, function yeah. of party because, you know, that's why you get all these oh, like uh, people who think like the the, the Lincoln Project has so much value that they that, oh, uh, you know, what you need to take care of Donald Trump is somebody who's going to be like, you know, out barb him in some way. And it's just the what stupidest the people. Like people don't know why Trump was Trump was. First of all, he could win GOP freaks oh, better than any of the as well as any of those primary folks. But he's also a fixture of public culture, like a, a, a short like um, all right, this is where these dudes do get real short-handed. Anything you could say about Trump, you could say about fucking anybody. Even fucking he, 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 Sammy does it. He's like, oh, he's riding on the coattail. That's that's three things that you that people were identifying him with by her by her logic, not by yours, Sam, because you're you're not the only person in that room. So when they say that shit, if you I mean you can't say no wrong. You can be like, oh yeah, that's not what I'm talking about though. Oh yeah, but that's not what I'm talking about. This dude's just like, no, wrong. <laughs> oh, dude, this he is saying wrong, right? Let's 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 listen. Let's listen. Synonymous exactly. with a rich guy, yeah. right? He's all over culture. That's he's it. In the rap, like, like right, like you. People like money. I don't understand why people like he did give off the illusion of being a big business, a good businessman. But if you was not a fucking silly American. <laughs> You would remember that this dude's every one of these dudes' businesses fucking failed, bro. We won't lie. People were making money underneath his regime. I've I've asked. I've asked foreign people, people of immigrant descent, was like, yeah, I'm fucking making bank underneath this asshole. I don't care about this dude. He can say whatever the fuck he wants. He wants to throw fucking toilet paper at a fucking a, a state that's not even connected to this fucking continent. Hey, he can do what he wants. I'm making bank. You guys too, and in a different way though. You guys were making money, slandering the guy, which he was. He, he didn't need to be slandered. He wasn't a great president, but he did make money until he started to have America lose money. I can only imagine what the debt, what the fucking. What the Listen to a rap like. lyric from like 2003, and there's a chance like Trump might be mentioned. There's a Mac Miller yeah, song before he like ran him. called Donald Trump, where right. he talk about how much money he makes. That's the problem is that there is too much about Donald Trump that is vulnerable that most of these uh, politicians, they can't attack. I mean, let's be clear, right? What was Joe Biden, regardless of what his ideology is, what was his profile? Obama's VP? Yeah. I mean, no. not just that, but in terms of like himself, like what was his profile? Washington. No, no, I mean, that what? was for what us, you know, for the knows. American public. It was, was you know, Amtrak Joe. Dude, that's what for the American people with Trump, yo, businessman Trump, businessman Trump. Now we got Sleepy Joe. <coughs> we got business ruining fucking Trump. 
and Sleepy Joe. But I'm yeah. It was working oh, class so union guy Joe. I mean, yeah, his record didn't reflect that, but that was his that was his regular guy Joe. And, you know, he was and, saying, like, you know, Main Street and, instead of Wall Street. And, and you know, did he, did he believe that? <laughs> and, and did he say that behind closed doors? No. But the and, point is, is that that was the perception that and, I think there was out there. He was not, oh, man. rightly or wrongly, he was not perceived and, as like a, a sop to the wealthy. I would argue that, was that his that record was like belied that, but, money. but, but that's the, the, you attack Donald Trump by attacking wealth and nobody Obama in the Republican Trump, yeah, party can do that. Yeah. And bad they, business. and they couldn't. So, and that's, you know, my, again, and I'll do that. I, I, that's my thing, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, fucking, yo, you know, Fucking the presidential election shit's just like fucking high school elections, right? We're gonna sit there. They're gonna sit there and fucking promise you the world, and then not even give you half of that. I.e., all that immigration shit and all that other thing. Oh yeah, we're gonna bring immigrants in, but we're gonna bring immigrants in from across the seas, not the ones that's connected to us, ones that we did dirt with, and now we're bringing them over here. Holy shit, bro. Please. Point is, like, he's a billionaire. He's up there. Whatever he says when, when trumps I'm whatever they say because he is richer man. than them. And, uh, no you know, when when Hillary Clinton went around over. and said, you know, things aren't that bad and she's not going to attack, you know, she couldn't attack uh, Goldman Sachs. I mean, look at, look at Terry McAuliffe. Terry McAuliffe could not exercise the primary attack that one would have launched against Yunkin if you were anybody but... Someone who was working at the same freaking Carlisle group was it or ba was it ba was a Carlisle group? Yunkin was a um, a predatory. You know what did they call it? Um, what, what did uh, um, uh, Newt Gingrich call it when he went after Romney? Was it vulture capitalism? Oh, Yunkin was a vulture capitalist. If you wanted to go in and attack Yunkin, like, the idea that you did not have that arrow in your quiver i i got the arrow that has the you know the sort of like the the iron tip or whatever it is yeah the car elevator arrow yeah, yeah. i can't what? use that one because i'm that guy too you know never I, like i don't think people voted against terry mccall because of that but like you can't take one third one half one quarter whatever you want to measure it of your arsenal that you would use against this guy and take it off the table because you're just as guilty that's a problem well and that's the he's same reason why bernie would have won in 2016 <laughs> right because you well? can you can hillary clinton was unable to i mean she i understand it's a counterfactual but <laughs> if it was just up to the people i think he would have but uh, i, I got to be honest Democratic with you. party running somebody like i bernie. think uh i mean i you know my my old point was i thought that uh what's his face Oh, yeah, the O'Malley. O'Malley. O'Malley would have won. I think O'Malley would have won, too. Not it's just like, Bernie. Like, Lincoln, they, like, fetishized that he was born in a log cabin. Like, this is as old as politics, yep. right? Yep. 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 So. So. Um, Pass. What was William Henry Harrison? What so was it? The deal with him? Died. Remember that? That was like, the Chris original Christine campaign Christine where it's like he's a, he was from... No, nope, uh, right? somebody in the chat will remind me. I mean, of course, of course, like that always trumps. No pun intended. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like it. No pun intended. But um, speaking of nominative determinism, yeah, I was. That's exactly what I thought. Nominative determinism. <laughs> yeah, fucking words, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, somebody's like throwing around their uh, doctorate a little bit. Are you a PhD? Mm. Uh, no masters. Well, nevertheless, I would see. Um, we, around here you are. <laughs> yeah. What are we talking about? What? Video history? Video fucking audio video fucking classes? Yo? <laughs> AV class, bro? What what my man's got a doctorate in? That he is, is strongfully enough to put it onto this. Well, this must be just the fucking, the, the, the passion project. This is, this is what, what they, what they go to school for and, use all their time to 
make money off of YouTube. But he's not asking for money no more. I wonder why. Yeah. I wonder when that stopped. <laughs> so, I wonder when that, when the, when the asking of, oh, but this isn't even a full episode. So he probably does his that on one of those. But, you know, newer, newer stocks. Newer stocks. Can't be like the other capitalists. We can't be a vulture capitalist, I should say. We shouldn't be asking people for money or telling people, oh, no, that's the other guys. The other guys. These dudes too. These dudes too. I bet you, as a as a business, they get tax breaks. Not as big as Elon and them because their business isn't as big as Elon. They're only probably employing like five people. They need to get some more some more blood in there so somebody can tell them that, you know, wishing death on people really isn't that funny. Or even saying that and maybe it's because it's coming from these guys. That sounds like just sick and, vic- <laughs> and, and vic- victitious. It's really vicious. It is vicious. Vindictive. There we go. <laughs> it just sounds vindictive for no good reason. Oh, man. He good. <laughs>